Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about surge suppression. Um, in tip, uh, particular, whole house surge suppression. So a lot of you guys probably have power strips for your computers and uh, um, that you plug things into to make sure that if any lightning strikes, or not really lightning strikes, but transient voltage uh, spikes in the line from the utility are handled. And that's great, you still need to continue to use those, but there's a lot of devices in your house that you really can't put a surge protector on very easily. Like your air conditioner, if you have a whole house air conditioner, your washer, your dryer, your range, and so on. So they make products like this one here. This is a product by GE. It's a whole house surge protector. Part number in this one is THQL Surge up there at the top. This is the fourth edition product that complies with the newest uh, UL standards. Um, and this gets installed directly in your electrical panel. So you take out, um, or either you either take out or you have an existing breaker replace it with this, or if you have free spots, you can put this in your panel. This is listed only for the GE Powermark Gold Series panels, which is what I have here. Um, but if you have a Square D or a Siemens or whatever, uh, a lot of those other companies make similar products. And you can get one of these for maybe 50 bucks or so. So I already have one of these in my panel now. Um, but it's an older model, and I think it's blown because I don't see that uh, green LED light on right there. Uh, or if it's on, it's very faint. So I'm just going to replace it. It's about eight years old, so it's time. It doesn't owe me a dime. So we'll unbox this, and I'll show you how to remove the old one and install this one. This is what it looks like unboxed. It's pretty light, not much to it. This is where it clamps on to L1 and L2 in the panel, the two bus bars. And this little pigtail here, uh, you strip this off and you wire this into the neutral bus. And that's pretty much it. Your install is done. Just make sure that green light stays on. So let's get to the panel and we'll install this product. So this is the, uh, the older model that I have installed right now. This is what it looks like when it's installed. Pretty bright here. Apologize for the lighting. But to, to get at it, I'm just going to take off the cover carefully because this is a, a hot panel. Like so. So first I'm going to take it out of the panel, being careful not to touch any of the live components. Just snap it out. Geez, that's on there. It really clips in there securely. Let me uh, undo the neutral wire. clamps on to the, the neutral or the ground bus, which in a main panel, which this is, they are the same thing. So you see the green wire here, that's your neutral bus, I'm sorry, your ground bus. Neutral bus marked with a white here, it's over here. So this is officially unhooked. So here's the old one. Let's take the new one and put it in. And you want to keep this neutral wire hooked up close as possible to the, the surge suppression device as possible. I'm just going to feed that back in there. Same screw it was under. Going to tighten it down. Oh wait, not going to tighten. I'm going to install it first. Electricity. Strongly recommend turning the power off first, just for your own peace of mind, and just pop it in. Easier said than done, usually. Jeez, there we go. So that's the install right there. Not much to it. I can see the green light is on. Again, sorry for the lighting, but it's a pretty easy, pretty easy to install these things. And it's nice. It gives you some peace of mind with um, your more expensive appliances that you can't easily add a surge suppressor on. So just for a quick tour for you, those of you guys that aren't familiar with electricity, power comes in through the meter through this L1, L2, 
and a neutral comes in here. So these two feed the main, and each one of those vertical bars, called bus bars, feed power to the breakers. And in your main panel, again, which this is, your neutral bus here, with the white wires, is tied electrically with this bond jumper here to the ground bus. And these legs down here go to a sub-panel I have to feed the rest of my house. So this is a, a uh, I believe they refer to this as a feed-through panel. Uh, because it takes power in and can feed another power, another panel with feed through lugs there and there. So that's basically it. Um, hope you guys found this helpful. And again, the part number this is THQL Surge. You can pick it up at Home Depot, Lowe's. Um, and again, this is listed for GE panels only, uh, but other panels, uh, other manufacturers should have uh, similar products that you can use. Hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, uh, please subscribe and stay safe.